Now, so, I have a little problem. Look behind me. Now I have an inversion table here right in the middle of my space here. I have another little bench here to do abs. And over here, now I got three bikes. I just don't have the room. And I got set up, got to push all this stuff out. And it takes me 10, 15, 20 minutes to actually get things set up to have a good workout. So some of this has to go. So, but I'm gonna switch stuff around and then we'll get back to it as soon as I switch things around. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have to rearrange everything in order to make everything work just because I got two new pieces of equipment. As you can tell, I got a tight space in here. The one car garage, it's a longer garage and kind of narrow. So it takes a lot of work. When I get a couple new pieces of equipment, it becomes very tight and very unusable. And that's what exactly what happened. Everything becomes so squished. I became like a little sardine and it was so hard to work out in here. And every time I wanted to work out, some of the equipment had to go on the driveway and it was about 10, 15 minutes set up and then a 10, 15 minute to put everything back. So I almost didn't want to work out because it was such a chore. It was such a chore just to work out. So I moved everything around and everything's a whole lot better. So let's take you through a whole brand new setup tour of my home gym. Let's get to it. So over here on this side is my cardio section for the most part. I have my Proform foldable treadmill. And I like the foldable styles because it clears up this space here and I can do sit-ups, push-ups, what have you, right here in this spot. And then I have my recumbent bike on this side. Absolutely love that thing. No matter what people say, I love recumbent bikes. And then over here I have a dip station and my seated calf machine. I don't use those all that often. So I folded the seated calf machine up and when I want to use it, I just put it down in this space here. And the same thing with the uh, dip, I just fold it down and I can use a dip station right there. And then next to it, I have my fan bike. And the fan bike is something I love and I couldn't use it before because it was up front and I had to move it out in the driveway because it was in my way before. So now I just push it over just a little bit and now I can use the fan bike. And the new piece of equipment that I got is the, is the inversion table. Absolutely love this thing. I love being inverted. It helps my back a whole lot and gets me stretched out. But I was using some of these. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. These boots here. And I would just hang from here. But getting up there was fine. But getting back up was a problem. I couldn't get back up. So I had a rope here. And it just became a pain because I didn't want to get stuck. I'm out here alone. If I get stuck yelling for help, no one's out here to help me. So. Okay. All right. Ugh. Kevin, a little help, buddy. So I'm gonna get rid of these and I, let's put those over there. And I got the inversion table and that's why I had to move things around because now I just push it out here and I can use the inversion table in this section here. And it doesn't get in the way of the squat rack either. So the squat rack had to be moved two feet this way to make room for the equipment on the other side. But absolutely love the squat rack, squ the squat rack. And then I put the bars up on top because there was room there. Just a place to store them for now when I'm not using them. And in the center I have my adjustable benches on the bottom. And on the top I really don't use this bench all that often because it's just for leg day. And I got the attachment on the front to use it for leg extension and leg curl. I gotta find a different place for this. So this is the only piece of equipment right now that I have to move outside when I need to use this area. So one piece of equipment versus three or four or five, it's a whole lot better. And then over on this side is another piece of equipment that's brand new, is this bench here, just for abs and that's it, but it's nice and small, so I just put it up like up there. And then behind it I have all my Olympic plates. A few more here, here. a few more spots here for storage. And then the tree is over there. And then in front of it, I have my hyper extension. Still very usable. I don't even need to move that at all. Um, if I do need to move, use the squat rack, I just need to scoot it over a little bit, but that's fine. This is what you have to do in a small space when you want a lot of equipment. And then right next to it, I have my Titan dip machine. Now I love this machine, but not in love with it. So if I can find a buyer for it, 
it's out of here. And right next to it, I have a Titan fly machine. Absolutely love this thing. It's a keeper because I can do reverse flies and regular flies with it. And absolutely love that machine. And over here, since we're on this side, I have some bars and bands here. And up top, I have some medicine balls. And then in the center here, I got my lap pull down. Before it was in the corner over here and the dumbbell rack was on this side. And every time I did the low row, I would hit my back against the uh, dumbbell rack. So having it this way, so I have all this room here is a whole lot better. And I can do one arm and regular um, rows and regular rows with it. And it's a whole lot better. I, I, so I don't get um, any interruption with the movement and I don't hit anything while I'm doing it. So that's a whole lot better that way. And then the dumbbells. I had them separated before. Some of them were on that side of the rack and the other half was on this side. And it was okay, but not perfect. But having them all together like this is amazing. And I got all the way from 10 all the way through 100. And yes, there's Mr. Spock. Live long and prosper. And up top here I have a a trap bar, little clock there. And I just got this mirror here, absolutely free. It's not perfect. It's cracked on that side. Maybe I'll put a frame on a frame around it at some point. But you know, it's usable, it's fine, and it's it works. And that's all I care about as long as it works. I rearranged everything again to make everything more functional and make everything a whole lot better so I don't have to move anything outside. Especially when it starts raining, I don't want to move anything outside. I just want to get in here and get on with my workout. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and if you want to know anything more about anything in here, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.